Hey guys, welcome to the team. Today's topic is gastroparesis. A uh, little bit uh, important. Okay, so um, how the patient presents, how do you investigate, and how do you treat? Okay, so let me start with this. This is seen in the patients with a uh, long standing diabetes mellitus. Like a patient they should have, a, they should give the history of uh, he has a retinopathy, nephropathy, uh, okay, peripheral neuropathy, something history should be present in the past history then you can think of gastroparesis it's not like uh, today he has been diagnosed with a diabetes uh, mellitus and tomorrow he will develop uh, or a few months after a few months he will develop gastroparesis so it is usually seen after many years so he sh they should give a long history of uh, diabetes mellitus okay uh, let me start with this autonomic neuropathy this may occur in people with a type 1 or a type 2 diabetes so it is an autonomic vagus nerve is damaged right vagus nerve very important sometimes they can ask you which nerve is responsible for the gastroparesis so vagus nerve remember very common symptoms is a chronic nausea chronic diarrhea vomiting and early satiety okay symptoms you know palpitations heartburn abdominal pain bloating blood erratic blood glucose levels lack of appetite blah 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 read okay the investigation of choice is radioisotope gastric and tank scan what we do we give we mix a radioactive material with the food and uh, we ask the patient to drink and then when he starts drinking and we start taking a picture of that so the camera takes a picture and then there's a time interval between this so they will uh, come to know whether it's a normal or abnormal or delay in the uh, emptying of this uh, food stuff from a stomach into the intestine so this is what actually they do they do no need to remember just as I said for your uh, knowledge sake that's it okay uh, the other point what i want to tell before going to the treatment is um, remember if they give the history of a patient with a diabetes and a uh, sign and symptoms of the gastroparesis what you do what you do tell me uh, whether you will go with the treatment or you will investigate investigate why we investigate because there can be a outlet obstruction too can present with the same symptoms like the uh, gastric emptying so uh, what you need to do you need to scan for that you need to do investigation before going to the treatment very important okay uh, either in the form of barium studies or in the form of scans barium studies is the best to rule out the um, what you call uh, gastro uh, outlet obstructions so how do you treat it you will need to treat the gas with depending on the severity and may include eating several small meals each day okay eating meals that are low in fibers and the fat very important motility agents such as metoclopramide doperidone domperidone erythromycin very important erythromycin they are several times in the pediatric suspicion uh, they can be asked in the internal medicine too surgery can be uh, kept for those patients who are having very severe gastroparesis okay thank you so much for watching my video if you have any questions please let me know uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos i will start uploading more more and more videos so that i can help you to get more good amazing awesome score in us family thank you so